Good evening, I'm Elaine Quijano. U.S. aviation investigators and a technical team from Boeing are headed to Ethiopia tonight. That's where a new 737 MAX 8 jetliner crashed today, minutes after taking off from Addis Ababa. Eight Americans are among the 157 people killed. They include citizens of 30 countries, many of them headed to a United Nations environmental conference in Nairobi. Deborah Pata has the latest. Flight delayed, read the bland announcement at Nairobi's international airport. However, the delay was anything but bland. As news of the worst possible kind reached frantic family members, all 149 passengers and eight crew members on board Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 had died. A grim-faced Ethiopian Airlines CEO, Tawalda Gebra Mariam, faced the public. We are very, very saddened. Our heart is broken. The jet was a new Boeing 737 MAX 8, delivered to the airline last year. It's the same type of plane operated by Indonesia's Lion Air that crashed shortly after takeoff last October, killing all 189 on board. Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 lost contact just six minutes after takeoff from the capital Addis Ababa when it went down en route to Nairobi. According to the flight tracking service, Flight Radar 24, the plane had unstable vertical speed during its ascent. Investigators rushed to the crash site, about 30 miles from the Ethiopian capital. It's unclear what caused this plane to crash, but the pilot was clearly in distress. Uh, the pilot uh, mentioned uh, that he had uh, difficulty and he wants to return. But then, they lost all contact with the plane. The U.S. has sent its condolences to everyone impacted by the flight, and its embassies in Addis Ababa and Nairobi have offered assistance to the Ethiopian government and are liaising with families of those who died when the plane went down. The U.S. has also sent four members of the National Transportation Safety Board to Ethiopia to assist with the investigation. Elaine? Deborah, thank you.